Uh, hi, I'm Douglas Nielsen, uh, currently a professor at the University of Arizona School of Dance in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, Erica Overturf uh, discovered a, uh, a reconstruction that I did of Charles Weidman in our Stevie Eller Dance Theater. And that Charles Weidman uh, was born in Lincoln, Nebraska in 1901. He died in New York City in 1975. Uh, he was an American modern dance pioneer, along with Doris Humphrey and Martha Graham. He probably didn't self-promote as much as the other two women, so uh, I've been uh, campaigning for his, uh, for his reputation. And uh, the fact that he's from Nebraska, I think, is, makes it all the more interesting to be here now with uh, Ballet Nebraska. On My Mother's Side was choreographed by Charles Weidman in 1939, and it was the first example that I know of of a autobiographical suite of six solos where Charles depicted uh, six of his relatives on his mother's side of the family tree. This is really a personal autobiographical suite that he danced for about 10 years uh, between 1939 and 1949. He never taught it to anyone else. And uh, in 1989, uh, I did a two-year research project at the Lincoln Center Library of Performing Arts and around the country to reconstruct uh, the actually 25-minute solo suite. Uh, it took two years, and uh, the reconstruction ended uh, right at the 50th anniversary. And so I was uh, lucky enough to perform it um, at the same age that Charles was when he performed it for about 10 years between uh, 1989-1999. We're so lucky to have Doug here. He did a tremendous amount of work to revive uh, Weidman's On My Mother's Side, a work that could have been uh, lost to all of us. And now that he's here working with us, you know, he said he's passing it on to a new generation of dancers. So that's one of the special things about dance is how it's passed on uh, through people. You know, as I said to Stephen, you're doing this as a solo, so you have freedom and responsibility, but freedom to, you're not doing it with somebody else where you have to be with them, you know, so it's, it, all these little notes, you can kind of shed them as you get into it and, and just own it, you know, it's yours. Well, the challenge of dancing any choreography by another choreographer is to try to find your own identification with it. Um, the fact that Charles had a blind grandmother and so did I uh, helped me uh, imagine my own grandmother when I danced that character of the blind grandmother. I think when you dance uh, any choreography, an image or a personal identification helps you make it more real, so you're not just pretending. My favorite aspect of dancing the role of Grandmother Hoffman is that it's very theatrical. We get introduced to Grandmother Hoffman through her daily chores. The most challenging aspect of Grandmother Hoffman is the fact that she's blind, and so I am supposed to dance the whole solo with my eyes closed, which um, not only affects your balance, but obviously is a little bit scary because you don't know exactly where you are all the time. You take an uh, athletic young male dancer and have them move in such a way that they're, you know, hunched over, eyes closed, hands trembling, and it really brings the character to life. It's, it's about the character, you know, and not uh, the, the person playing it. It's something that I think is very relatable. It's a really human picture, you know, it shows different characters in someone's family, in Weidman's family. 
and it captures the just the story and the struggle and the joy in their lives and it's something that I think is very relatable uh, has a very human element. Valley Nebraska is an excellent example of a regional ballet company that uh, strives to communicate to the uh, to the, the local uh, audience, uh, but also the national audience, something that's uh, pertinent and not just entertaining. Um, I think Erica Overturf uh, realizes that audiences uh, like to be entertained, but at the same time they like to be inspired to think and to imagine and to identify. And so I think when an audience comes to the Valley Nebraska they, they see different aspects of how dance can uplift you and also uh, inspire you and uh, make you contemplate uh, things that you might not have if you had just stayed home that night.